Well, happening today, a man accused of a violent attack while behind bars goes before a judge. We have ABC 13 reporter Jeff Ealing downtown to catch us up. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. A couple things going on with the jail. The Harris County uh, has a huge problem with the jail right now. The Texas Commission on Jail Standards is making it clear in a report to be released later today that there's not enough staffing here. Meanwhile, the next court appearance, as you mentioned, for Jeremiah Williams is scheduled to happen. He was already in jail, but is now facing two counts of aggravated sexual assault for a crime that allegedly took place in the jail in a sergeant's office when a jail employee was attacked. Williams uh, was already in jail for multiple counts of sexual assault from September and state officials are saying that this crime happens uh, to highlight a desperate need for change in the jail. A report on conditions at the jail is due out today, but we got an advanced look. And according to State Senator John Whitmire, the report says the jail is understaffed. Whitmire says that this has to be fixed immediately. Reporting live, Jeff Ealing, ABC 13, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Jeff. Taking a look at your day ahead, Klein ISD police will announce the findings of its investigation into recent threats made against Klein Kane High School. We do know officers worked with the FBI to identify a suspect and that suspect, a student, has now been expelled. A prayer vigil for Brazoswood High School Cole Hagen is tonight at Freeport Community Park. Three suspects now face charges for the brutal attack last Friday in Lake Jackson. At last check, Hagen was breathing on his own and able to walk. Tonight's vigil is at 6.30. And opening statements began in the trial of the former Minnesota police officer charged in the deadly shooting of 20-year-old Dante Wright. Kim Porter says she meant to use her taser on Wright after he drove away from a traffic stop, but she grabbed her handgun instead. And a gunman remains on the run after causing panic for shoppers and employees inside a mall in Central Texas. Overnight, Colleen police released photos of the suspect. He's believed to be a white male. That shooting happened just after 7. Last night, one person was taken to the hospital. All right, Alita, some fog. fog. We've got some fog this morning. Temperature readings start a warming trend today in the 70s. Thursday, Friday, back up in the 80s. All right, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Yes, on this Wednesday hump day, join us for our 7 a.m. stream and have a great day, everybody.